A volunteer fire department is locked in a battle with Prince George's County over the fate of an ambulance. This unusual showdown has the fire chief demanding that the county take away the emergency vehicles while residents seem to be caught in the middle. Hatzel Vela is outside Morningside Volunteer Fire Department to explain tonight. Hatzel? Uh, the folks here at the Morningside Fire Volunteer Fire Department say even without this ambulance, they can provide adequate service to the community. The county says no way, and residents are left wondering who is on their side. At Dee's Barbershop in Morningside, they know about the feud, the fight, mainly the results of an agreement between the county and the union, which says stations must have at least four career firefighters, meaning four county paid firefighters, not volunteers. So you either take the four or you don't have any. The chief at the Morningside Volunteer Fire Department could not go on camera, but he tells me if it's a choice between four or zero firefighters, he takes zero. He says they simply do not need the extra firefighters because they're well staffed. The county can take back its ambulance. This raises serious safety concerns amongst county officials. In 2012, 3,600 plus calls that, that ambulance ran uh, will now create a delay of anywhere from five to 10 minutes but the volunteer fire department argues three things. One, the four men model, they say, often leaves the ambulance unstaffed. Two, they can also respond and provide the same care on their fire trucks. And lastly, they argue seven of 10 calls for the ambulance are typically outside the Morningside area. The county's fire chief says he's going to fight to keep the ambulance at the station, but it gets tricky because the volunteers own the station. If the ambulance is removed Monday, the county's fire chief is threatening to remove the volunteer fire chief and restrict where they can respond. Back at the barbershop, Marlon Carnahan thinks residents are the ones getting cheated. Uh, to have uh, two engines but no ambulance, I mean, it really doesn't make any sense. The chief tells me he's not afraid of what may happen come Monday. He also argues that the county makes money from the ambulance service, money that he doesn't see. Live in Morningside, Hatsavala, ABC 7 News.